I work here at Ryder, and today I'm out here because we went on strike. We have a lot of safety issues. I witnessed a lot of co-workers here getting hurt, and it's just a lot of issues that Ryder doesn't fix. They just sweep on the rug. When things are broken, they just put cones or caution tape around some of the problems. Like the problems don't get really fixed. We have a lot of heavy equipment in there as well that's not safe, that don't stop. Some forklift doesn't stop. I actually witnessed one of my co-workers get hurt because of one of the forklifts didn't stop. She actually crushed both of her legs. Ambulance came and I helped him get her on the stretcher. And in the process, you know, she asked me to look to see was her legs broken. And I told her indeed both of her legs were broken. Once we got her to the ambulance, you know, right immediately sent everybody back to work. It was no care. They just showed us how they would treat us and how they don't care. After that, you would think Ryder would have put um, some other safety um, things in place so they can um, prevent that from happening again, but absolutely not. It was the same, same old videos that, that we had whenever we first started, the same basic training videos. After that, I also seen two other coworkers get hurt as well. They broke their limbs. How much or what cost do a person have to go through for them to take our safety series? So that's why me and my coworkers got it together and we um, filed an OSHA complaint on Ryder. I love my job, but I also want to be safe while I'm here to do my job. We feel like, you know, we have a voice. We got people standing up with us. 